Hello and welcome to All Things Knitty's Crochet Channel. This week's stitch is the two step stitch. Not only because each stitch is made up in two steps, but my friend thought it looked like rows of dancers. Um, so, yes, this is it. To get this effect, this is on the cotton, it's so much easier to see. But I have done an example in some double knit um, as well. So that, this is the back side of your work. That's pretty as well. Um, so to begin, you're going to need uh, the correct hook size recommended for your yarn. I'll be using a 4mm um, from the little crochet hook set that I got. Uh, also, thank you to the people using the affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything from Amazon using the link below, at no extra cost to you, Amazon gives me a small commission. And that helps purchase the wool and things to keep the channel uh, going. So I do appreciate it. Um, so your initial chain is two plus one. And you're going to want to do that very loose. Okay. Once you have your chain, we will begin. So, okay, so this is your foundation row. To begin, working in the second chain from your hook, we're going to work a full row of US half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull a loop through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One more time, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. You're going to do that all the way across the row, including the last stitch, and that will complete your foundation row. Okay, so we're about to move on to pattern row one. The, this pattern, both rows start and end the same. So you chain one, turn your work, and your first and last stitch will just be a normal half double crochet through the stitch itself. So yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, so we're about to begin our pattern. To do that, we're going to work into this space and then the space below it, so one, two, yarn over, go into one, so go into the stitch, yarn over and pull a loop, a loop up, sorry, you have three loops, yarn over, and now we're going to go into the space directly below that stitch, place your hook through, pull up another loop, you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through four, you're left with two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, go into one, pull up a loop, yarn over, go below. So you're going into the space directly below and pulling up a loop. Yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, I'll show you a couple of more times and then you can finish that row. So yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go below, pull up a loop, pull through four, Yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Into the top, yarn over. Into the one below, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through four. Then yarn over, pull through two. Continue doing that all the way across the row. Stop once you've just got this chain left and we'll finish the row together. So you're going into point one, point two. Yarn over, pull through four. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, pause the video, work your way along and I'll get you at the end. Okay, so I've just come to the second to last stitch. I'm going to work one of these spike stitches. So into the top, yarn over, into the space below, yarn over and pull through, pull through four, pull through two. Now, like I says, the start and end of your row is just a regular half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that chain one. Well, it's because we started in the second chain from hook. This is the chain left over. We're going to work a half double crochet and just make sure you pull it up slightly just so your hook can sit straight across the top and that way it will keep your work nice and straight. We're beginning pattern row two by chaining one, turn our work and again we work a half double crochet into that top chain. Okay so now we're going to begin pattern row two. Again we're working it in two steps but we don't yarn over this time. So go into the stitch and pull up a loop. Then 
without yarning over, you're going to go into this gap between these uh, stitches. So go in there, pull up a loop. You have three loops, so it's just like a half double. Yarn over and pull through three. This sets up for the next row when we do these spikes, it's slightly different. So um, try and keep these all the same uh, with the tension. So into the stitch, pull up a loop, go below, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So it's into one, then two, without yarning over, pull through three, and here, yarn over. Uh, sorry, pull through a loop, no yarn over. You have three, pull through three. Continue doing that all the way across the row. Stop um, when you have like the half double and one post and I'll just show you how to end pattern row two. Okay, so we still have one uh, stitch to work. So in there, then below, yarn over, pull through three. Now, we have the half double from the previous row. Again, we're just going to half double. Make sure you're through the stitch and you have your V. So make sure you have your V and complete your half double crochet. Just remember to pull it up to the height. Okay, before we move on, um, please feel free to join the public gallery over on Facebook. There's a link in the description. You can post all your projects it doesn't have to be from my designs it can be from anywhere it's just great to see everybody's hard work okay so we're going to repeat pattern row one but it's just slightly different this time so chain one turn your work begin with a half double crochet into that stitch okay so this is where it gets a slightly different here is number one so if you remember, we go yarn over, you're going to go in there and pull up a loop. Then the second one, you have to peek between these stitches and it's through there. There's a, a tiny little gap and that's where we're going to go into for the second part of the two-step stitch. So yarn over, go into the stitch at the top, pull up a loop. Yarn over, you're going through there. Just make sure that you're in the right position. This keeps the, this is what gives you the definition um, in your next row. Okay, so yarn over. Here's the first part. Yarn over. You have to kind of, it's easier if you turn your work away from yourself and you can just see it. It's actually easier to feel than see because once you put your hook near it, it just pushes through. Um, yeah. Okay, so yarn over, go into the top of the stitch, pull up a loop, and then right there, right here, is where we're going to go for the second um, part. So yarn over, go through that little space, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over through two. One more time, and then you can complete the row yourself. So pull up a loop, there's the wee gap, yarn over, Go through, and then pull through four, pull through two. Work your way across, stopping here, and we'll just finish the row again. Uh, when you're using this cotton, this is great for little scrubbies. Uh, this will actually be like for scrubbing pots and stuff. In this cotton, it's so thick and it's so rigid that it's just perfect for, but in the, the softer double knit, it'd be lovely for a blanket. Okay, so I'm just going to work the last two step stitch. Yarn over, go through the small space, pull up a loop, pull through four, pull through two. And then again, we're going to work a half double crochet. Make sure you have your V and work your half double crochet. Chain one, turn your work. And then you would just repeat the the kind of single, uh, the half double crochet row. So chain one, turn, work a half double crochet in that top stitch. And then you're going to work Without yarning over, go into the stitch, go below, pull through three. So it's like working a half double, you're just, uh, there's no yarn over involved. Okay, by going into the 
the very small space rather than between the stitches. This is what gives this part this lovely definition that the stitch kind of goes like this. If you went through this, it would actually cause these to pull up and separate and it, this looks much better. So, when you're finished the, the half double crochet row, that would be the, the row that you would want to finish your work on. So make sure you finish after working pattern row two. So yeah, that was the two step stitch. And like I say, this is perfect for like little scrubbies, uh, a table cover, things like that, especially in the cotton. Uh, yeah, so please remember you can post all your pictures over on the public gallery. Don't forget to check the description box below for links to the uh, for the yarn and the lovely little hook set that I recommend. Uh, yeah, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye now.